So on this example here, we haven't got a series number, it just says series one. So we want to tell it what series that is. We click on there and we right click. We can then select our data. At the moment it says series one because here under name it doesn't know what it is. If you're using an older version of Excel, it might actually say the name series here. So we click on here we need to tell it where we're getting that information from. So if we click on the word where that data is, so for us it's this one here, it says average. Click away. The X and the Y values, fine. We can click on OK. And then now it says average here. It's also given us a title of average. If you want to change where your titles and things are positioned, here you've got layouts under chart layouts. You can add your title. You can add your axes. You can add your legend and you can add your data labels. The data labels are actually written on top of each of these points and sometimes it's required that you have data labels. What you can also do is add error bars. So here, underneath the same bit where you're in the, the chart layout, you'll see it says error bars. If you click on where the error bars are and go to error bar options just here, you can select when you custom it, you specify a value. Here you'll tell it what is the maximum. So the positive is what is the maximum and the negative is what is the minimum values for these. If you click on OK and OK again, you can get your error bars on here. Hmm. So the tiny errors on these but your bars are here. You can also change the way these, these are formatted. If you right click and look at your um, data, you can change your marker style. So at the moment it's automatic, but you can change whether you want to cross, when you want to start. A lot of people prefer the crosses on these.